welcome back. This is Frost Terror, and we're going to be playing some MLB The Show tonight. Madison Bumgarner against Joe Ross. Um, 23 and 12. We are a game and a half out of first place in the West, but we're atop the National League wildcard by at least three and a half games, but we're pretty high over some of these other guys. I think this is like two, two and a half games, maybe, over the Cubs. So, pretty solid altogether. Um, let's go ahead and see. Uh, it's been a couple days. It's, it's been a couple days since I played baseball. I think it's been a week since I played baseball. <coughs> um, quick counts on. We got some rain going. Bumgarner's hot. Everyone in our team looks like they're pretty well rested. Carson Kelly having a rough go of things. We did sign Puig. Remember that. We did sign Puig. So, can he play anything other than... He can just play outfield. Okay, so that's good. We got another outfielder. Um, I really want to figure out something to do with these... With Well, I sent down what's his name. So, I got Leva up now. Okay. I think we're good. And then Rojas is going to be our other infielder. So Leba is our problem child at the moment, but I think we're good. We're good there. <coughs> um, but yeah, I think everything's going pretty good. Uh, if I say anything that doesn't sound right, I actually got out of the park baseball. And I thought about streaming that too, but it's not as exciting, I don't think. We are under the lights um, this evening as we get you set for another Maybe, of maybe in the, the future. Up, we've got a good we do that, because I think we can get through those Arizona games a little bit faster. And, and I can probably like just record them. Right now. We'll record them instead of just streaming them because streaming them just seems like it's a lot, a lot of work. Because a lot of it is like just checking out stats and seeing. All right, I haven't done this in a long time, so. Oof. Early on the sinker. Ooh, early again. All right, so we gotta sit on sit on Ross a little bit. Good take, good take. I actually tried to swing at that. I was just a little late. Right the middle. Oh! What a stop. What a stop. Nice. That was good. Full count for Marte. We're getting his pitch count up there already. Oof. That's a bummer. That's a real bummer. Now in the box, David Peralta, and you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate to say the least. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. There we go. Oh shit! That's good. It's probably could be a stand-up double. That's a nice little swing. I don't think he got her just enough to put the backspin to get it out of here. But hard to complain about a well-hit double, though. So here's Eduardo Escobar. Escobar has been better from the sports, at home. Struggled away from their home ballpark. That's okay. I mean, that's okay. Most 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 guys do. Payoff pitch on its way. Line drive. That's score him! Score him! Score him! Center field gap. Hell yeah! One comes across to score, and they jump ahead one nothing. 
Boy, after scoring a boatload yesterday, D Rose, they're off to a fast start again. If you remember last game, we had a massive comeback that was awesome. Right where they left off. Edwin Encarnacion now looking to stay. Oof. He's been a real threat at the Strike three, man. Week or so. A run on a couple of hits. All right, so Bumgarner, all Bumgarner's got to do is throw a shutout. We're good to go. Complete game shutout. Bum. <coughs> Oof. Might metaphor here and the forecast I've heard this I've heard this many a time you know what are the big issues it is player safety and right now this field is getting go. sloppy wet mad and I don't know how much more rain Ooh, look at that Granky's one for four this year if Rojas and beer are pretty good like it's two and one well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. Four and two over the last six games, including a win last time out. There we go. This team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and I think Marte probably should have called that one on, but to jump out again to another that's okay. Lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush like got nine pitches so far. And it's working for them. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down. My wife is. We'll see how much so if you hear some stuff in the background, my you wife is doing some mask, sure you don't step in a pool mask like creating. Nice. Missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. Making some, using the saw machine, making some masks for some people. Even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Oh, watch the cutter inside. <laughs> Come on, man. You're better than that, Soto. Three down for Washington. They trail this one one to nothing. Oh, but baseball is just baseball's hot, man. Baseball's hot. So, like, I'm really curious because, like, Matt, I am the hot thing. Your brain is expected to pass through the ballpark at some point later in the game. The umpiring crew would, of course, like to get this one in uninterrupted, but it is possible that we could be looking at some sort of a delay if they determine the way. How's the season going? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's um, I think we're 23 and 12. Best, of course, but guys, you have to assume these So we're we're getting there. We change up the way we're hitting a little bit. Yeah, Maddie, 100% it's going to be bothersome. They're going to have to watch their spikes. Cole Calhoun, uh, so I signed Yasiel Puig, and Cole Calhoun is, uh... You just can't lose focus. Starting pitchers are the ones that are going to have the most problems with it. Into the box now. Cole, Cole Calhoun has started playing. There might be a rain delay, man. I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippy. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Get back, get back, get back. Okay. I thought he was going to throw first. He would have had me. My guy was running. Stepping into the box, Stephen Vogt. Lifetime against Stephen Vogt. He's one for five. The one-two rolled slowly down the first Oof. baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. I mean, it's raining. It's pretty dark out. It's raining. Got some clouds. Uh, oh. To right field and deep. Look at this thing go. Right fielder looking up. Nice. Into the second deck. And He's been playing so much better recently. Uh, Carson Kelly was had a hot streak to start the season, and then he's been cold, and Bo has just picked up right where he's left off, where Kelly left off. Man, I love that AB right there. He rushed him in with the pitch before. You would think maybe he would leak a little bit. She to the inside half of the plate. Not the case. Kept Oof. his shoulder square, stayed on that pitch <coughs> middle away, and was able to drive it out of the yard. So we're a game and a half out of first place in the West. And we're currently in first place in the wild card. I think we lead the wild card by like a game and a half. 
maybe might be two and a half. There's, the, it doesn't, it never tells you like we're the first team in the wild card, but it it never tells you like how far you are ahead of the second team. That's the second team in the wild card. So, but there's two teams tied for that second place. So it's, I would like to know. And I think they expect a little bit how far ahead I am, but the compute, the game is just like, nah, you don't need to worry about it. You're in first place, don't worry about it. But like that, plus, you know how it's like, in the stats, standings, it's like minus a game and a half for how many games you are behind, but then it's like plus a game and a half for being ahead. The three ten team divisions. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. I wonder if, like, if that happens. And here's a ball back I wonder if they patch right, the game. So we'll try it again at one and two. I doubt it. I really do. But right there. O2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. I think that would be awesome. Many of those today. Two balls and two I, I feel like it would probably be too much work uh, two, two. to patch the game. Up around the letters. Maybe not. Maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe it'd be easy. <coughs> I feel like there's just too much. There's too much work because then you'd be like, you have to. I, I don't know how much league, like the league stuff there is in this. Um, like in terms of like customizing your league, there's probably a lot actually. But I wonder how many. They probably want like audio in there to be like, because of the coronavirus shortened season. So I wonder if they could do that. Software is easy to change in life. Only at our work, man. Oh, we didn't test this. We need you fix it right away. Oh, okay, sure. Give me five minutes. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that. My man's up to 45 pitches in. Into the gap and should be two, two plus innings. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer. I don't know about you. Like, so when I was playing the other day, like, I could not track the ball to save my life. Today, I, I'm, I'm in there. I'm on I'm all of them. Perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. All right, so let's see Escobar. Can Escobar go deep? He needs some. He needs some road RBIs. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard to the infield. He's gonna wave him. Oh, I would have had it too. Damn. I knew Eaton had a good arm, but I probably would have probably would've been safe. I was in there. I had a good I had on the ball. One and two now. See, I'm in I'm in this I'm in the circle every time now. I'm just Got him oh. that will end the inning. Encarnacion was a bad bad trade. Should have traded for Josh Bell. I really should have. Ooh. Get in there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Digging in. Joe Ross. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. One and two to the Nationals pitcher. Bumgarner 
I think he had like a bad outing last game or something. Like he just didn't do something I wanted, like what I was wanting him to do. But I think we got it. Look at this guy catching things all flashy and shit. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with Manager oh. Corey Lavello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production. Someone remind me. Overall, if you're watching right now, when the game's over, remind me to look to see if I can turn off Heidi Watney. Three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across there we go. a lot more runs as he tires. Telling you, man, Cole Calhoun. Oh, he's out. Okay, thank you, Heidi. The relay. Oh, nice. Single and a double. He's so slow. Dude, Joe Ross sucks. So I'm going to say it. I'll say it. No one else is going to say it. I'll say it. Joe Ross sucks. Whoever pitched yesterday dominated me for like six innings. And he connects with it. Oh. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Gone! Joe Ross. Joe, look, if you're a national stand, I'm sorry. You need to cut Joe Ross. So a two -run shot to send him back center. down to the At the very least, send him back down to the minors. As the Diamondbacks have extended their lead now, five to nothing. He's given up home runs to Steven Vo and Nick Ahmed today. Yeah. I didn't get high enough on it. Range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. <coughs> so the base is empty here with one away, and the pitcher Madison Bumgarner will bat next. Ooh. Fastball in there. Three I'll take it. I'll take the strike. That's fine. Five runs, seven hits. He's up to no six, six pitches so and two, three and two thirds. And the <laughs> that was ball four, too. Uh. As bad as he is, I mean, four strikeouts is not bad. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up that was not a good swing for me, but. And boy, anybody, any time is right as Arizona's got extra bases again. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Rowena Salias answers the call from the pen here in the fourth. There we go. Cattell's one for two. All right, let's go. Let's go deep with Cattell. He needs a he needs a home run. Line towards center nope. field, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. Good, I mean, good hit. Tried it. I'm in. I'm in one deep. Leading off the inning, Trey Turner, and they'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early So, on. see, this is the problem that I have, right? Baumgartner is going to throw a gem today. I'm up 5 nothing. I'm going to win, like, 9 nothing. Baumgartner is going to throw a gem. Looked like he was a little over-aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Oh! An error. Damn, there goes the perfect game. Digging in next. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Catch inside the throw. He's in there. Damn, my team said I can't catch a ball all of a sudden, or what? It's a little surprising to see them risking base runners by stealing down this many early in the game, but they're choosing to be aggressive. Might work out if they can drive him in now and chip away at that deficit. Count even at 2 and 2. From the stretch. Fouled away. All right, let's go fastball again. With no outs. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. That was kind uh, of a let's gift go. to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting He's two open, two, so let's go curve, change up outside. Him, it's obviously easy to take that one. Skied in the air to yeah, away. cutter away is going to be easy. Peralta is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first <coughs> down. So Trey Turner out here. Juan Soto to the plate now. First time up, he went down looking. 
Ooh. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. She was trying to steal third base. My man. To his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Apparently, no one can throw or catch the inning. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. I, don't, I, and I probably would have swung at that pitch too, but woof. Ready for another shot now. David Peralta. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. To second for Kendrick. Hey, if you're one for three with a double on the day, I think that's a good day, right? Three, if you're batting, if you if you're batting 333 on the season, with what is what is one for three with a double get you? So it's what two divided by three? Well, you know you made a real so nice 666 slugging. To swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Hey, pretty good, man. Settling in now, Edwin Encarnacion. No hits in two trips to the. Yeah, I got two strikeouts. You need to game. fucking hit something, man. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. There we go. High in the air in deep <coughs> left center field. And it's gone as they add still another. Number 16, baby. Hey, that's a I kind of want to get Josh right Bell, man. Sneak a fastball pass still want to get, still want to try to get Josh Bell. And every power hitter no, I think we're good. I think we're good right now. Start with the numero uno. Number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else. And he did Is that going to curve away from him? Nope. Soto. We'll get there and he away to retire the side. <laughs> but the D backs I don't even know what I said. And what did I say? Nation's capital before we get too much further on the field. Let's check in with Heidi. Let's not check in with Heidi. With Nationals manager Dave Martinez between innings, specifically about his club's offense to this point. Come on. He's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. What would it take to get Bell? I don't know. I can check after the game. And forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. I would give up. I would probably trade Christian Walker. I'd see if they'd trade Christian Walker for... For Bell, I, I probably have to throw him like a prospect or something. But we'll see. We'll see after the game. Can you imagine having Encarnacion and Bell as two double first basemen? It would be pointless, but it would be awesome. My team would just hit home runs. Like they wouldn't even hit doubles and singles. They just hit home runs all the time. I could stack. I could stack, like, <laughs> put, put Encarnacion batting fourth and put Bell batting, like, seventh or eighth and just stack the guys that get singles and stuff and in between <laughs> and just try to hit multi-run multi, multi homers. New inning set to get underway. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Nick Ahmed. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last Oof. time around. Castro's that was good. Got it. Good job, Castro. Him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the shift. <coughs> Riding in once again. All right, Vo. He's working on a one-for-two game oh. so far. And right into the shift. Zimmerman has it. Talk about and a shift. Three, Holy cow. And Canastion just hit the home run. How'd you forget about it? Yeah, I got Puig too. <laughs> well, I got Puig because Calhoun was playing like crap. Drilled right back up the middle. 
Um, I forgot who I traded for Encarnacion. Um, I tra oh, I traded Mike Leak for Encarnacion. And Puig was a free agent. Nah, I still have Escobar. No, um, Encarnacion hit the home run. Escobar um, grounded out, I think. But yeah, I traded Leak. I think I traded Leak and someone else, like a, a minor league pitcher for Encarnacion. Because he's like 37 or 38 and only has one year in his contract. Honestly, I don't even know if I can take Josh Bell's contract. Oh man, there goes the no hitter. Speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Grounded up the first baseline. Cabrera, runner at first with one gone in the inning. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Thought we could get him at first. Just yet the one out here is the runner will get back safely at first. The better fielder, number two. In now is Adam Eaton. Eaton. That's lifted the other way out to left. Oh. And that's in there, base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Cabrera oh. isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And a relay home. And he will beat the throw. Man, the that's plate. a bummer. On the board. It's a six I brought up, I brought up to plan TA to put him in the line. Yeah, he's been doing good. He was in my um, bullpen as my long guy. Yeah, that was, he read that ball wrong. Blame the rain on it. One for the Nationals on the he called, they called an RBI single, but that was definitely an error. Alright, let's see what we got with Marte up. Ah! I don't know what you're really... Because if you look at the thing, like, I was there. I was on it. I just don't know what you're supposed to do about that. He needs to go yard. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to I did try to crush that ball. Strikes. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. Skied in the air, ah. straight away left. This so guy's throws faster. Now, uh, and there's the second out of the inning. More difficulty getting the the circle to it. I'm telling you, Joe Ross just sucks. David Peralta, he's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Swing and a looper to left. In there, the base hit. See, that's what he should have done instead of trying to catch it. say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May and he's on fire. Ah. He's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around and the third base. Yeah, they get it up enough. Yeah, yeah. The wind's probably blowing. You got rain in your face. Not a problem with it. I don't have a problem with it. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Reined in. Oh, we had the shift on. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. The one-one. the cutter inside. The cutter inside just seems like it does so much damage. I think if you throw it in the dirt and Canasian is just old enough that he can't bend over. He's like, nah, in the dirt. Just going to block it. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. <laughs> yeah, it's DC. Eh, well, you know. I have a couple friends from college that were from DC. He's working on a one for three thus far. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball yeah. up and down and in and out. And the try not to throw it right down. Mad Bum the is doing well. But also. That's great analysis. The best hitter on my team is apparently good at hitting fastballs. So, 
the most powerful hitter on my team is apparently good at hitting fastballs. So now to the plate, Paul Calhoun. Oh. Rounded softly down the line toward first. And that was interesting swinging in bunt. As he takes one away. Wow. I don't know if he, that's really him taking it away, is it? He got on top of one and was a ground down. Like is that how that works? What? No. Oh, well, that's late on that. Stop. Stop screwing around. Where this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. All right, let's see. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to Ooh, get that pitcher to come back. I thought it was going to be up. And they did that I mean, yeah, I thought it was going to be more up. On the breaking ball, Nick Ahmed is sent packing for the second out of the inning. A two ball, two strike count to the Diamondbacks catcher. I'll try to let that. I'll try to let Bumgarner. Let's see what's Bumgarner's pitch count at. Actually, can I see? He's only throwing. He's only throwing 82 pitches. Let him go. He can go. He can probably go nine. He's pitching that well. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Too close for Oof. comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another payoff pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hey, last two pitches. See Austin Voss. Speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He can pretty much do anything he wants. Yeah. And that's through into center field. Nope, nope, nope. Stay at, stay at third. He was, he, he was dead to rights. <laughs> he runs. He's on. I forgot who was on third, and I saw. Oh, speed nine. Nope. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Go back to third. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna try a power swing with Bumgarner. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's gonna get a challenge pitch right here. Ooh, he's pitching around Bumgarner. Wow. I think it's gonna be a fastball here on three and one. He definitely doesn't want to walk the bases loaded. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. Runners on first and third, two away. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder coming on. He yeah, gets there to make the catch. And that bad end. swing. I, over, I overshot where I thought Digging the ball was now, going. Kurt Suzuki. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. There's a Ooh. drive high in the air and deep to left center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he's going to get the Lead second off double. With nobody out. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play. Yeah, their commentary is awesome. Their commentary is super awesome when it's not the same thing they've been saying for like two weeks. That was great defense. Oh, great defense. That was awesome. Oh, dude, what the hell? And this one bounds around against the wall. Well, at least, how did that guy not score? Did he think I was going to catch that? Look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective. You look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long, and that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution Oof. in terms of pitch counts. All right. Counts. Let's get someone up. Close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Now at the plate, Adam Eaton. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, man. Second on the team and runs batted in. The 2 1. Waves and Oof, misses. For nice. Strike number two. Something that's well, I mean, he was at second base and he only moved a third, so. 
That just seemed really strange to me. All right, let's see. He went. Come on. Wow. Suzuki on third. Gomes on second. Turner is over at first with one away. He'll throw home with it. They get the force at the plate. Ooh, almost got two. Closer than I thought it would be, and the inning will continue. Alright. Been chafing in. Now here comes the Arizona skipper up out of the dugout What the hell was that? <laughs> Mark is like, let me just throw this underhand and skip it. Holy crap. That could have been terrible. I don't even know the word. Of it. That's just disastrous. Holy crap. Ah, I got too low on it. Tell Marte. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The two and one on its way. Skied in the air to straight away. Mm -mm. Nope. Soto is gonna get there. One for five day. Oof. Away, and there are two gone now. Now that now at the plate, David Peralta. Last time through was a base hit. The one two. Oh, let's go. The pat flip. Dang, the ball is high and far, too. Dang. The elevate and celebrate thing. <laughs> oh, uh, into the shift. Oh, man. That's a bummer. Let's see. Fix mine. Nice. That's a nice pitch. Nice swing, should I say. Alright, let's let Chafin just see if he can finish it out here. Swing and a liner. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Like, I'm not going to lie, I think that might be the first hit Chafin's given up all season. It might be. It might be the first base hit he's given up all season. Oh, and then he gave up another one? Ah, man. Do you have to get Archie up? It's late and the clock is ticking, but that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. And a sinker dips too low there, into the dirt in fact. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And he will whip this one over to <laughs> Wow, the, the shade. Yeah, I mean, he's not used to getting hit around like this because I just said I don't think he's given up a hit all season. I mean, he's three for four now with an RBI, so geez. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, if, if he gives up one more hit, which if he gives up a hit to Michael Taylor, then cutting him just based on. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. <coughs> Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Grounded down the third wow. baseline. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. 
Wow. There we go, Archie. Bum Garner gets the win. I don't know if I. I think Archie gets the save, but I don't know. Yep. He doesn't get paid by the pitch, so he just figured he'd end it quickly and hit the showers. Good call. And tonight's final seven. Nice. Let's look at Josh Bell. Let's see what Josh Bell would take us. Cause I like Josh Bell. I think he's he's a much better option than Christian Walker. Let's see. So make a trade to the Pirates for Josh Bell. He's an A4. So if I try to give them Christian Walker. What else would I need? So they want Christian Walker, David Peralta, and Corbin Martin. And that's that's a no. We do all. Christian Walker, Starling Martin, Marte, and Anthony Greer. I'm willing to give up Anthony Greer, but I'm not willing to give it. Will I give it Kevin Crone too? No. What about... Look okay, at Andy Mart Andy Young is a D potential. Rojas, you think Rojas would Christian Walker and Rojas? Would they take this? What else do they want with it? They also want Robbie Ray. Or Luke Weaver. I'm not ready to give up Robbie Ray yet. Um, what if I say prospects? Nothing. Yeah, did you see that? They want Christian Walker, Josh Rojas, and Bumgarner for Josh Bell. That's ridiculous. What if I threw in Alec Thomas? They want Luke Weaver. Bomber man. Oh well. Oh well. We'll keep we'll keep what we have now. Hey, thanks for the follow, Inky Dinky O one. Yeah, keep Thomas. Um, let's see, so what did I trade? Let's see transactions. Completed transactions for the Diamondbacks. So I traded Yasmani and Mike Leak for Edwin and Canasino. And Canasio. So that was a good trade because I got Yasmani off the books. I got Mike Leak off the books. I know you're not a big fan of Mike Leak. <laughs> um, and then I, tra I got Bobby Dalbeck from the Red Sox for Rich Foss. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big Bob Dalbeck fan. Uh, those are the only trades I made so far. And then I signed uh, Puig. <coughs> and optioned Vargas to Reno. Bring up Thalbeck. He's not good. Like, look at... He's a 70 with a C potential. And look at his stats. He's monster power against lefties, but that's it. I'm not gonna trade Puig. Puig's doing pretty good for me. He's like he's like one at bat and like two walks. <laughs> look at look at in the one game that I've had him for so far, he had 
He was one for one with a double with a walk. <laughs> uh, so, he's doing good so far. Um, and, and he's making Cole Calhoun a better player because Cole Calhoun was awful until he got here. <laughs> um, I'm hoping, like, I don't know. I probably won't play multiple seasons, but have Dalbeck pitch. Let's see what his see what his pitching statistics are. It doesn't even let me look at pitching statistics or attributes. So if you don't know, if you're watching this, if you're not, you don't know what we're talking about. Um, Bobby Dalbeck was the closer for the Arizona Wildcats during um, one of their playoff runs one year. And he's a he's a pretty good pitcher, but has a lot more power at third base. Yeah, look at how many guys on this team are hot right now: Archie, Ray, Encarnacion, Gallon, Escobar, Bumgarner. It's nuts. This team's good. Seems stacked. And I haven't, I haven't messed with any attributes or anything, but look how good this team is, like, in general. When you look, it's a bummer that no, there's no baseball being played this year because look at this team, a 96, 88, 87, 87, 85, 85. He's not on the real roster, but 82, 81, 81, 81. He's not on the real roster. He's not on the real roster. And then, you know, Christian Walker is a 78, but geez. And I think, I think Luke Weaver is vastly under um underrated here so so same with Yoan. I think Yoan's should be higher but guess we'll never know uh but that'll be it for tonight um go ahead and save it uh maybe we'll play another game tomorrow or something but um Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see all of you tomorrow or the next day. Thanks. Bye.